Okay, welcome back to Coach Garcia's Flipped World. Okay, um, today we're going to be talking about a world religion of animism. Okay, you should have already seen the uh, video lecture over all the major world religions. Um, now we're kind of going to go into an in depth uh, lecture over each one of them. Um, and this is the first one we'll do, um, and it's animism. Uh, probably one of the easiest ones you're going to have to remember. There's really not a lot uh, involved within animism. Their belief is that many things in nature have their own spirit. Whether it be plants, um, animals, even, even places of worship. Um, it's one of the earliest forms of religion in the world. Okay, um, like I said, it is one of the earliest forms of religion. Um, areas such in, uh, in Africa, uh, some sub-Saharan African tribes had beliefs that plants and, and animals um, had spirits. Uh, Native Americans also believed that um, plants animals and even uh, um, certain places of worship had um, um, spirit uh, uh, tendencies um, during the native uh, in the Native American uh, society each tribe what they called a clan had a family group they would have a certain animal or a certain plant that they believed to be um, they believed held a spirit so they would refrain from either killing or harvesting that type of, of plant or animal. And then you also had ancient Japan, okay? They believed uh, that, that things had spirits and they called them uh, kami. This ancient uh, religion or ancient belief uh, led to the religion known today as Shintoism. Like I said, this is pretty much the one of the easiest uh, religions to remember in the world. Um, animism and pretty much just the belief that, that objects and animals and even religious places have uh, spirits involved. Um, so there shouldn't be very much to take on this. If you have any questions, remember to write them down or send them to me on Inmoto. Uh, take good Cornell notes and good luck.